Hello everyone and welcome back to another bucket coding video. Today we are here to do episode 6 which is going to be uh, throwable or just uh, explode on place TNT. Now you're going to go ahead, you're, you need to have your main class as defined like this so do all this, make it extend Java plugin, just basic stuff. On enable we're going to have to go ahead and get the plugin manager, so plugin manager pm equals bucket dot get server oh not get scheduler get server and then we're gonna go ahead and say get plugin manager and there we go go ahead and import plugin manager from bucket and not that other thing then do pm dot register events new TNT place event uh, and then this so wherever whatever class you have for your um, event just write it write the name of that class here and it should be registered now what you want to go ahead and do is make this you need to go ahead and name your class and then make it implement listener and then you're gonna go ahead and uh, make an event for block placement now what we're gonna go ahead and do is say block B equals E dot get block and we now have the block that was placed import from bucket not not uh, not NMS now what we're gonna go ahead and do is if B dot get uh, type uh, in uh, no equals equals or dot equals we can do dot equals it doesn't really matter so we're gonna do dot equals material dot TNT and make sure that material is from bucket and not uh, NMS. Now, so what we have so far is we're gonna go ahead and say, okay, this is the block that was placed, and we're gonna go ahead and see, say, if it is the type of TNT, then what we're gonna go ahead and do is b.getLocation, and close that off really quick. Uh, so we're gonna say, okay, location lock equals b.getLocation, and import location from bucket and now we're going to do LOC and we can do well now what we want to do is we want to do bucket dot um, get world and we're going to say world because that's the only world we have so far and then what we want to do here is, is it spawn entity yeah spawn and then actually it could be a falling block I'm sure we could do all sorts of other stuff here we're gonna go ahead and spawn uh, this here so uh, go ahead and get the world and spawn an entity um, let me just make sure you can do TNT here uh, sure you can I know it's here somewhere Give me one second, everyone. I will be right back. All right, everyone. So right here, instead of getting the world and spawning an entity, what we want to do is go ahead and declare entity uh, TNT equals bucket dot get world world. And then we're going to spawn a TNT prime dot class at the location of the block. Now what we want to do is do that. And that will set, set it to explode right away. And then we want to do TNT primed primed no oh. TNT primed TNT dot and then we can do all sorts of things here uh, well what we could do is we can get all the nearby entities or something like that and then we could maybe make a ride the TNT or something like that we could set passenger uh, to be e dot get player and see how that would go I don't know how, how that would really work if it would really work at all I'm sure it would but it'd just be kind of kind of weird um, well yeah we can do all sorts of things we could teleport it in the air uh, make it blow well right now it'll blow up right away if we place it uh, I'm sure we could we should probably set that to like 20 so people at least have a second because if you're making this for like a game mode like survival games or something you don't want it to blow up right away you kind of want to wait about two seconds and then blow it up well most servers it's three seconds, so I recommend three. Uh, but I'm just gonna do twenty for the sake of the tutorial. Uh, can we just do? Yeah, we can just do TNT that, but I'd rather not. 
Uh, so I think that's really about it. It's not really throwable, but we could actually, what we could do, uh, we could rename this to TNT events and completely rename it to TNT events and just name this TNT events. Then what we could do is we could say um, on interact, so on I, so player interact event E, and now that we have that, what, what, you, what do you want? There we go. Uh, is it just, oh, public void, yeah, forgot that, that was weird. I'm just like, what did I do wrong? Uh, so yeah, so what we could do now is we could say if uh, e dot e dot get current item. All right, hold on. Uh, get item equals null. Then we're just gonna return uh, if e dot get action dot equals action dot. Right, hold on. Don't think we can do that. Well, let me see. E dot. Oh, it, so if there's a block in the player's hand, so we could just confirm that there's a block in the hand. If E dot get. Um, let me see. Well, okay, so we're gonna get the item. So if it equals material dot TNT. Oh, let's probably do that. There we go. <laughs> uh, so we're going to say if there's a block in the player's hand. Uh, oh, come on. Then we're going to, and then we're going to go ahead and say if it equals TNT, then we're just going to go ahead and copy all this. Um, e dot get. Uh, okay, so we have to actually use player.get location for this one. If they're just clicking on it, that's why it has to be a place event normally. Uh, so we can just copy all this down. We could say instead of p uh, e, b dot get location, we can just do uh, dot e dot get player dot get location. And there we go. I don't know how well this will work, but it's worth a try. Uh, we actually should probably check if um, if ha e dot has block if that's well, no, I don't know how, how well that would work. We should probably, what we should do, to be honest here, is we should, hold on. Let me, okay, what we forgot to do here is we for okay, this this will work fine, but right here we need to, you know, get item dot set amount zero. We just completely have to get rid of it here. Uh, this this method might not work to be honest because we already have this there, but this may work in theory So if you want this code you can go ahead and do that part of the code But it really doesn't matter because it may not work and it probably is faulty, but I don't know uh, This right here should work. This is really all you need the on enable. There's no commands here uh, Yeah, there's really no commands what we could do is just make a quick command um just to, I don't know, just to have that command. So let's go ahead and remove our commands file or our commands thing here. That should be it. So I am going to go ahead and fix any errors that there might be, and I will go ahead and cut to in game footage. All right, everyone. So we are on our test he server here for all of our random testing needs. What the heck? What's the sign doing there? Oh. Oh, there we go. So it is kind of invisible here. Um, and it's not actually okay. So that's one bug that I didn't fully test for. Um, we need to do b dot. I guess we could get okay. We're gonna say loc dot get block dot set type material dot air. And now we're gonna go ahead and refresh that here come on and that should be it for this now we can go ahead and slash reload and boom 
So you can see there is a little bit of delay, but there always is delay on. Oh, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> um, yeah, there's always going to be some delay. So you can see we can just play stuff and it'll automatically explode. And this is just an idea I got randomly when I was just messing around. But you can see that it just, it just works. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty cool to be honest doing this kind of stuff. It's, it's fun. I don't know what I'll use it for ever, but it's fun. <laughs> Alright everyone, so I hope you enjoyed this episode of Bucket Coding. I will see you guys all again in the next one. Take care.